it's me leslie monique welcome back to my channel i love the month of october and i love to see other youtubers create videos and makeup tutorials and halloween makeup tutorials i thought it would be cool for me to create a simple makeup tutorial for you guys if you can tell i am a bloody nurse i got this kit from walmart for only six dollars it was very cheap and i thought that it was really cute so i decided to recreate and just add some more extra stuff to it and if you guys would like to see how i created this sexy bloody look let's hop into the video okay so this is the bloody nurse makeup kit that i actually use for my face i also picked up some liquid latex to actually add a scab and more definition and this bloody scab fake blood came into the kit as well so starting with my foundation and brows already on i'm going to add the liquid latex to my face with the sponge i wanted my scab to be on the side of my face so that's where i'm going to apply the liquid latex for a base and then i'm going to use some tissue to actually lay down the initial scab if that makes sense so i'm going to cover the liquid latex with the tissue and basically tear off how wide i want my scab to be i don't want it to be too wide so i'm going to tear a little bit of that tissue off then reapply the liquid latex over that tissue and basically do the same thing. So that's the reason why I'm going a little fast for you guys. It's all up to you how thick you want your scab. I went over this tissue and liquid, liquid latex method about three times because I wanted my scab to be a little thick. So yeah. While I'm letting my scab dry, I'm going to start off by doing my eyes. I'm going to go into the BH Cosmetics palette. I'm not sure which one this is, but I use this one a lot. I'm going to use a black color and go into my crease and basically go at the bottom of my eyes to give myself a black eye effect. some more definition I'm actually gonna go back into that palette and I'm gonna use the red color to add like you know when you have a black eye you want it to look a little red and I'm actually gonna use a purple color as well to give myself that bruised eye look if that makes sense now that my eyes are done I'm gonna start by covering up my fake scab with the same color foundation that I have on. I did use the Fit Me foundation, but I'm not sure what color. Everything will be in the description box. I did use a shade lighter than my skin tone because I wanted that pale kind of sick look. So I'm going to cover that up until it completely matches my skin. And I'm also going to go in and use some tweezers by poking two holes into the liquid latex that's dried up. So I can add like a cut, a deep cut, or two deep holes in my face. Adding detail to my face, I'm going to start off by going back into that palette using the black color and covering up my holes with, a, with that black just to give it a standout look as in me having two holes in my face. After that, I'm going to go in with the red just to give it a little bit more detail by adding some fake blood this is going to be my fake blood before i add the actual liquid blood to my face this is just going to be like me basically adding detail putting bruises up on the scab you don't have to be perfect you can just do whatever just go with the flow is that's what i did because with the halloween makeup you don't have to be perfect and i'm actually going in with a purple as well to give it that bruised look again. I'm moving into my eyes to add a little bit more eye red to my eyes to give it a little bit more bruised look. And I'm actually gonna add this to my bottom lip and the top corner of my lip, if that makes sense. 
Now I'm adding a little bit bronzer to my face because I am a nurse that was pretty at first and then I got hurt. So I'm just gonna add a little definition into my face as in me being pretty first, then getting her glass. Now I'm setting my face with the Makeup Forever HD setting powder just to give myself a little matte look. So this is the fun part. I'm gonna take this fake blood and I'm gonna add this in the places where I want my face to have a lot more definition. And of course I have to apply it to the scab to make it look way more realistic and make it pop a little bit more. Also gonna add it to the bottom of my lip as in me having an open scab. Also adding it to the top part of my lip as well for me having an open scab a little bit under my eyes. And I'm gonna add more of that to my neck to make it look as if the scab was dripping from my face to my neck. Going back into that palette, I'm gonna add those black, purple, and red colors to my neck to make it pop and look as if I'm having bruises on my neck to where if someone was choking me. So I'm gonna add that all over my neck to make the look pop and look way more realistic than what it looks. So gonna add some of that eyeshadow to the top of my head as in someone hitting me as well. <laughs> This look wouldn't be complete if I didn't have the nurse hat. This hat actually came into the Bloody Nurse Kit. I thought it was really cute how they had fake blood on it already. I am using my Milani red lipstick. Not sure what color it is. It's in the description box for you if you're wondering. I'm going to add that all over my lips just to basically bring this look together. Since I have everything red on my face, might as well have everything red on my lips, right? lipstick is added all over my lips I'm just gonna smear it just a little bit and this is the complete look thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you comment below and let me know what you think about this look and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys